Jesus freak here. Now, I've probably mentioned before that I've had some people think I'm hard on myself or that I hold myself to standards that are too strict. I don't think so. In fact, I think just the opposite. I think I hold myself to standards that are actually more than moderate. I don't push my standards on others because I don't believe it's my place to do so. <laughs> I believe in a chain of authority and I'm not part of that chain of authority. The chain of authority is frequently described throughout Scripture. It includes parents, bosses, law enforcement. older people in general. And I was raised to that standard, and I hold myself to it. that these people are to be treated as authoritative. Paul has made clear And I think it's safe to say that the command to honor thy father and thy mother is a bare minimum. Prior generations are given authority over the younger generations. Whether we choose to exercise it, that's another matter. Most of my peers are easily 10 years younger than me. I feel that a lot of this disintegration of society so much as we see is a matter of parents who don't teach and enforce moral standards on their children. They want to be 
their children's friends, not their parents. And their kids grow up without respect for authority. And that's why we have all this back talk, all this entitlement. All these people who think the backsides don't stink. Because they've been raised to think they're special. We like to rag on millennials and say, oh, they're a bunch of special snowflakes. A lot of that's because the Generation X and late boomer parents taught that to them. Who was giving out those participation trophies? Is it any wonder that if you treat them like a bunch of special snowflakes, they're going to grow up to be special snowflakes? But if you treat them, as you raise them to know their place, they're going to grow up and they're going to know their place. Solomon said as much. The way you raise a kid is going to reflect in how they are when they grow up. If you're absent, if you don't care, if you keep boosting their ego that's what's going to be in their head when they're grown up that's what's going to be either mindset when they're in their 20s 30s 40s so you want a nation of Karens this is how you get a nation of Karens It's no surprise that it's in the last 25 years that we've gone from a country that tried to work together between our left-wing and right-wing factions to the point where half the, uh, half the country doesn't accept that the other or half even belongs to the country. The snowflake mentality is what created us. A bunch of lily-livered sore losers. We didn't get our way, so we, we decided to riot and, and invade the capital. What happened to God's in charge? You're trying to force, force an outcome. can't force an outcome.
It's just like all these people are busy trying to force Jesus to come back. Or these charismatic Pentecostals types. They think they can get God to do what they want. Whatever happened to thy will be done. You're trying to make God's will jive with your will. That's not going to work. But we've gotten ourselves into a situation where we think we're better than those who have, have authority over us. Gee, I wonder why so many people are atheists now. They don't respect God because they don't respect authority, and who's the ultimate authority? Can't say it surprises me. I remember all the mixed messages I got growing up. It's like, I'd go to school, I'd believe what I believe, you know? And it's like, you still believe in those old fairy tales? Not fairy tales of the truth. But of course, when you think the truth is just a matter of subjective reality, you know, that reality is is what you th who want it to be. <laughs> no wonder everyone's leaving the church. They don't know what reality is. They don't know what the truth is. And they don't want to hear things that go against their worldview. I'm not going to say this is a left problem or that this is a right problem. It's a human problem. We're all like we're we're all like that. <sighs> if we just accepted That certain authority is in place for a reason. Wouldn't have all these problems we have today. I've started to change here. I've started to change with the man in the mirror. Maybe the rest of us should try to try the same thing. Maybe that's our first next step. It would be about time. Jesus freak out. 